Hush, little baby, pure and small. He created you, he created us all. Hush, little baby, don't you fear? We're never alone when Allah's so near. Hush, little baby, breathing so calm. He'll protect us all and keep us from harm. Alhamdulillah, wa salat wa salam, ala rasulillah, wa ala alihi wa sahabihi ajma'in. Amma abad, wa a'uzu billahi min al-shaytan al-rajim, bismillahi r-rahman r-rahim, inna ad-dina inda la islam, rabbi shayi sadri, wa isili amdi, wa al-ugdatan min lisani, yafqahu qawli. My respect is Elvis and my dear brothers, and sisters, I welcome all of you with the Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah SWT be on all of you. The topic of my talk is Islam, the way to salvation. Islam comes from the root word salam which means peace, which also derives from the Arabic word silm, which means to submit your way to Almighty God. In short, Islam means peace acquired by submitting your will to Almighty God. I read before you a verse from the glorious Quran in the beginning of my talk from Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 19. Allah says, in the Dina in the law Islam, most certainly the religion, the way of life acceptable to God Almighty is Islam. Another place in Surah Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 85, Allah says, وَمَا يَبْتَغِيْغَ إِسْلَامِ دِينَ فَلَيْ يُقْبَلَ مِنْهُ وَوَا فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنَ الْقَاسِرِينَ if one chooses a religion other than the religion of Islam, he will remain the losers in the year after. And as far as the way to salvation is concerned, this glorious Quran shows us the way to salvation. The Quran is the most positive book in the world. The proclamation of humanity is a fountain of mercy and wisdom. The warning to the hillers is a guide to the erring. It's an assurance to those in doubt, the solitude to the suffering, and the hope to those in despair. The glorious Quran is the solution to the problems of humanity and human. In this world, one to attain salvation, one to attain success. In this world, and in the year after, has a basic question. And his mind is unanswered. He never finds peace in himself. He never attains the true salvation. For example, who created me? Who created the vast universe? Who cherishes and sustains all the life on this earth? What is the true concept of God? What is the purpose? Of my creation, the Quran has the simplest, no comprehensive answers to these basic questions. It is mentioned in the glorious Quran in Surah Fatiha, chapter number one and verse number two. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin. A praise and speak to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the Arabic word for Lord, used here is Rab, which means the creator, the treasure, the sustainer of everything that exists. This verse of the glorious Quran, we Muslims are supposed to recite minimum 17 times a day in a far daily prayer. Fajr, Zohar, Asr, Maghrib, and Isha, every Muslim, as long as three years old, is reminded of this fact in this world 
That is Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Is Allah the Creator, the Judge, the Sustainer of everything that exists, whether it be humans, the animals, the birds, the sun, the moon, the stars, everything, or seen or unseen, as a creation of Allah. Furthermore, the glass Quran also clarify. That this creator, that is Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, is without any partners. He is not in need of any help from anyone, as Allah says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Al-Qalas, chapter number one and twelve, verse number one to four. For Allah wa had Allah Samad lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul la kufu wa ahad. Say, He is Allah. The one and only, the law, the chill, absolute. He begets not, nor is he begotten, and there is none like unto him. This way, the class, the third stone of theology. Theology means a study of God. Come with any idea of concept of God, we accept it or reject it from the base of these four verses. What about a purpose of my creation? The Quran again comes with a reply in Surah Zariyah, chapter number fifty-one, verse number fifty-six. Wama khalaqtu jinna wa insa illa ya budun. Have I created not the jinn and the men except to worship me? The only purpose for which we are created is to worship Allah alone, without any partners. If you obey and the commandments of Allah, the Jamaishi in the Quran and the Sahih the putting ibad of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala in conclusion, I appeal to your audience to read, understand, implement, and propagate the teaching of the glorious Quran to attain the true salvation, the true success in this world and in the hereafter. وَأَكُلُ دَوَانَ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ وَبَرَكَاتُهُ ما شاء الله سيدة خديجة، that was a mind-boggling performance for that age. جزاك الله.